a pony's tail. The ponies gathered at the castle. Excitement was in the air. It was the day to begin this year's pony play. I hope I get a part in the play, said Minty. Me too, said Pinkie Pie. All of the waiting was making her nervous. I want to play someone important, said Rainbow Dash. Wisteria didn't want to be in the show. She preferred a role behind the scenes. Soon, all of the ponies wishes came true. Look, squealed Minty, I get to play a clown. I will play the princess, exclaimed Rainbow Dash. I get to be a ballerina, said Pinkie Pie. Wisteria was excited. She would design all the sets for the play. Painting was her specialty. Cotton Candy was chosen to be the director. She was a natural storyteller. The ponies got down to work. They practiced every day, rain or shine. Cotton Candy wanted the play to be perfect. She took her job as director very seriously. She followed the script exactly. Let's play a game in one of the scenes, suggested Sunny Days. We can't, Cotton Candy said. It's not in the script. I think the princess should sit on a throne, said Rainbow Dash. No, that won't work, said Cotton Candy. The script says the princess should stand. I could tell a joke, Minty suggested. Clowns are perfect joke tellers. Cotton Candy wasn't so sure. Cotton Candy liked the sets, but she asked Wisteria, can they be more like the ones described in the script? Well, I think Wisteria's set designs are beautiful, said Minty. Me too, added Rainbow Dash. I wouldn't change a thing. If we pay perfect attention to the script, our play will also be perfect, Cotton Candy said. She didn't realize that the other pony's suggestions might make the play even better. With just a few days to go until the play, Cotton Candy noticed something. The ponies were still working hard on the play, but they didn't seem excited about it anymore. I should have listened to my friends, Cotton Candy realized. They all had great ideas. So what if we don't follow the script perfectly? If we add in everyone's ideas, the play will be better than perfect. It will be fun. So, Cotton Candy called a meeting. I want to apologize, said Cotton Candy. I didn't listen to your ideas because I was worried the play wouldn't be perfect if we changed it, she said. Cotton Candy promised that from now on, the play would use all of the ponies' ideas. The ponies were so happy. Hooray for Cotton Candy! They cheered. When the day of the play arrived, everyone was nervous, but they needn't have worried. Wisteria's sets were beautiful. Princess Rainbow Dash sat on a sparkly throne. Everyone laughed at Minty's joke and played along with the game that Sunny Days invented. A Pony's Tale was a wonderful success. Thanks to wonderful friends, said Cotton Candy. The end.